Hey guys, Dustin Cheek here with DC Cheek Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. I uh, just want to go over a couple of things with you here today um, and show you about a product I'm going to put in our system here actually at my personal house. Uh, it's something that a lot of our customers have chosen to put in their homes. Uh, it's really great at helping the indoor air quality and basically I just want to tell you a little bit about what it is and, and if it's something that you think makes sense for you, uh, feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to answer any questions, but uh, just want to let you know it's something I'm putting in my house and tell you a little bit about it. So basically a couple of things. I'm going to flip my camera around here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. And let's see here. So this is the box. Uh, basically, before we unbox it, just a little bit about uh, kind of how things work. Um, there's a couple of things that you can do to help your house with in regards to air quality. Uh, first thing is really going to be air filtration. So let's see if we can clear that up a little bit for you. So maybe you can see. Let's just flip this box over here for you. So basically you've got a few different things you can handle. So you've got your air filtration, which is going to be basically this stuff over here on the left. That's going to handle things like particles, dust, um, dirt, you know, things that are going through your system. Anything that really floats through the air. Typically people got like a, an air filter in there. You know, you've got all different kinds, but these are really air cleaners. Uh, and then there's some other things you can put in as far as UV lights and ionizers, things that just really help uh, clean the air with things that a filter or air cleaner can't do. And just kind of to touch on that, what that means is you've really got three different things. You know, you've got your particles and allergens. Like I said, that's the stuff your filter is kind of going to handle. That's the stuff in blue over here. So, you know, if you can read any of those things, obviously skin flakes, dust mites, pet dander, all those kind of things. That's kind of the job of your air filter. When it comes to things like germs and infectious agents and then chemical gases and odors, you really need a different product uh, that an air filter is not going to tackle. So that's why I'm putting this thing in. It's really going to handle number two and number three, which are the things that are in orange. So we don't have a particular problem in our house, but obviously with things going on in the world, you know, things like, you know, viruses, bacteria, molds, pollens, those are all things if you suffer from allergies that, you know, can get into all of our houses. Anytime you open a door or somebody comes in or out, you know, you're definitely letting stuff in. But the thing a lot of people don't think about is that a lot of the stuff in your house gets trapped in there and just recirculates. So, you know, if you got a sick kid or, you know, even if you're a well kid and got one of them, maybe pick something up from school, that's the stuff that gets trapped in your house and circulates, you know, basically everywhere in your home. You know, it goes through things like your air vents, it goes through your ductwork. So all those things kind of come into play. So this side over here on the red, um, chemicals, pesticides, solvents, you know, those are things that come from, you know, when you're cleaning your house or when maybe you bring in a piece of furniture, you've got glues and things that were used in the construction process. So all of those things uh, do what's called off gas and basically that stuff gets trapped in your house. So it's got to go somewhere and, you know, I think I heard somebody say it one time is, and it always kind of rang true to me is that, you know, you can either be the filter or have a filter, you know, so there's different things that uh, you want to take care of depending on what you got in your house. So like I said the product we're putting in today, uh, it's made by Eco Healthy Home. It's really going to tackle these two deals. So I'm going to unbox it here in a minute and we'll kind of show you what we're looking at and hopefully get rid of some of the uh, nasty stuff that might be floating around in the air. All right, just finished getting all this unboxed. Um, something that really stood out to me, uh, this is just one of the pieces, is the oxidation unit here. It's just the quality of the construction, the way it's put together, and the weight of the product. Uh, see, just some heat shielding. Just like I said, the weight of it, the way it's put together. I mean, this stuff is, is solid. It's not uh, not cheaply put together. You can always tell we put, put in a lot of products over the years, but these people have really done a great job. And one of the reasons we partnered with the Eco Healthy Home brand uh, and putting that in customers homes is just how well the stuff is put together um, and just to touch on too I don't know if I put that earlier in the uh, video one of the big differences in this UV system is the high output and the output capacity of the lamp so this is a good little graphic and it's on the box but 
most lamps and and in the market really just do good at treating surface you know type issues like if they're shining light and uv light on the stuff that's going to help kill some things and keep things from growing where this product really differs is is the high output lamp like it is over here on the right uh, in this side it's just it's about twice the size and twice the output so it's actually killing stuff as it goes through the air and without that high output ability you know any kind of uv light out there is not going to actually treat stuff as the air goes through it or around it you know they're usually just going to handle surface you know type contaminants so i said that's really one of the big differences uh you know and why we went with this product as well so like I said, just really, really good construction in my opinion and, and heavy duty stuff. So uh, we'll show you what it looks like once we get it all put in on the unit and, uh, and go from there and get it running. All right, guys, uh, we're up here in the attic. Hopefully you can see this, but I thought this was important for you to see a couple of things. So I'm going to flip this around. We're up here at the air conditioned unit. Let you see a couple of things that I noticed when I came up here. Um, we've actually got some stuff and I didn't think I had a problem but came up here to start getting the area ready where we're gonna put the UV light system and notice some nice kind of black funky stuff that's growing around the unit and actually started to wrap around the other side here so you can see definitely gonna have some some other issues to deal with this is not something that the UV light is gonna take care of the UV lights actually gonna go inside the ductwork so it's actually gonna be treating the air as it goes past it but looks like uh, just had basically some kind of surface you know mold that was growing the insulation was kind of compressed on this system so uh, i'll show that in another video but uh, we are going to have to basically cut all that out and remove it and uh, insulate it better really the result of it you can kind of see where some water has been sweating down the front of the unit we're up here in the attic which is obviously super hot in the summertime in georgia so definitely got some stuff to address with that but uh not a not a huge issue but it's definitely something we don't want to leave there but really the only way to take care of that is to, to cut all that insulation out and remove it and reseal it and clean it up so uh, it's sanitized and basically be able to treat it better but uh, we run our air conditioner quite a bit here in Georgia and uh, that's just something that uh, it can happen so it's uh, it's important to make sure if you haven't been up in your attic in a while just go up there and take a look at it you know, if you see stuff like that up there, you know, give us a call if you want to, but uh, that's definitely something that shouldn't be there and usually can be corrected with some insulation and better air sealing. And that's something to note too, while you are up here in your attic, you know, looking around, this house is probably about 20 some odd years old. A lot of this insulation has gotten compressed and actually missing insulation in some places. You can see over here where some is just been torn out from over the years but a big thing you want to look for is if you can see the tops of your floor joist or roof joist up here where underneath is your drywall you should not really be seeing those up in your attic you know that means your insulation is settled uh, you really need to have it looked at uh, something we can also help you out with too if you want us to come out but basically you should have uh, about 13 inches is kind of the minimum which should be covering up those joists so we typically do stuff up to about r60 as far as blown in insulation that's well above industry codes and standards but you know you can see in some areas where it's fluffy in some areas and then other areas have been disturbed maybe you've had pest control guys up here maybe you've had you know other work done but uh you know, just a good, good idea to get up here and take a look around and, and just put your eyes on it. Definitely probably a morning job. You want to just come up and take a look. And, and if something looks off, you know, then by all means, give us a call. We'll be happy to talk to you about it over the phone. Or if you want us to come out and just kind of take a look at some of the stuff maybe you're seeing, we'd be happy to help you as well. So, uh, like I said, basically going to get our spot prepped and ready uh, for our UV light system to go in and the oxidation to go in on the other side here. So we'll click back over once, uh, once we've got all that done and, and show you how it looks. All right, well, we just finished up getting everything all installed up here in the attic. You can see the ballast is there. It's got some pretty cool looking lights on it. That's the oxidizer system back there behind it. Uh, it's got some settings. I've got it at the widest open setting right now. We got the high output UV light. It's uh, back inside there. You can't see it, but it runs about the length of the plenum. So we'll get all that uh, insulated and tidied up here. But what did you see too? That, that white stuff all around it up there, that's a, that's a mastic sealant. We do that to seal out any air loss and, uh, and prevent any, any air leakage. 
But uh, other than that, everything went in pretty straightforward. Um, it seems like it's working well. So we'll do a uh, follow-up video uh, maybe a little bit later on and let you guys know how it was performing for us. But other than that, everything's working great. So if you're interested in products like this or have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to talk to you about them. Again, I'm Dustin Cheek with DC Cheek Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. And give us a call if we can help you out in any kind of way. Thanks. Have a great day.